Hey everyone, Sean here. Evan. This is our review of Alien Resurrection. Yay! To all the people who hate this movie, I sympathize. Oh boy, do I sympathize. I loved it. Prepare. Please, okay. I'm gonna put his email in the in the description so you can send all negative emails to him. I'm gonna put his email in the description box. Sure. You can send all negative emails to him. Ugh. Let's go to the mumbo jumbo first. <laughs> Alien Resurrection, 1997 American science fiction action horror movie. What horror? Directed by Jean Pierre Genut. I think I pronounce it. And written by Josh Whedon. As in Avengers, Josh Whedon. God, I feel bad for you, sir. It's the fourth installment in the Alien franchise, no shit, and was filmed was filmed at 20th Century Fox Studios in, in L.A., Los Angeles, California. It stars Sigourney Weaver per, per pointlessly, I should say, reprising her roles on real play with additional roles played by Nona Ryder, Ron Perlman, Dan Adair, who can apparently act with one with a portion of his brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to that later. Yes, J. Oh, we have so many jokes about that. J.E. Freeman, Brad Dourif, Chucky himself, who does the Chucky voice in the movie and then ruins it, <laughs> and Michael Wincott, who played the villain Top Dollar from The Crow. A movie so much better than this. Basically, let's see. Let me get to the rest of the movie. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, so it was released November 26, 1997, with a runtime of an hour and 49 minutes, with... And then we just watched the special edition, which is an hour and 56 minutes. Uh, the budget was roughly $70 million. And it made back roughly $160.7 million to the box office. Oh, boy. Because it's a good movie. It is shit. No. Basically, the premise is about 200 years after the event of the third movie, Ripley is supposedly <laughs> cloned because <coughs> the military want the Queen Alien for reasons we never told and so alien gets loose and as always people run for their lives and die before i go shitting on this movie i'm gonna let you defend it for some reason this movie is awesome it's got a good story it's dark it's got graphic violence it's intense something the third movie wasn't Again, I'm going to put his email in the description sure. and send all negative emails to him. Seriously, don't. I already, I already get enough emails from work. I don't go, need to go sifting through 30 million damn emails a day. <laughs> I already get enough emails from work and that goddamn Pat Catan store that just had to get a subscription to, which I'm never going to shop at again, so... And sorry, annoying them. I'm already deleting like 40 emails a week from them. Okay, I know you're having a sale on Play-Doh and Putty. I don't give a fuck. I shop at your store once. I'm not going back. So stop with the fucking emails. Okay, um, do you want to continue the funding or can I just go ahead and shit now? What can I say? Brad Dorf is awesome. So go oh, no, you. no. Okay, let's get to Brad Dorf. Brad Dorf is part of the reason for everything happening. Because he's so focused on something else that he's not paying attention to the fucking aliens so that he can actually freeze them. And because since Brad Dorf's not paying attention, they kill one of their own and acid blood leaks and they get out. Brad, Thanks, Brad. You basically screwed everyone over. Brad Dorf is awesome. Yeah, when he's doing the Chucky voice and then he gets ruined. That was ruined. awesome. It did not ruin it. It made it awesome. It made him sound more psycho. I say good job, Brad Dorf. All I can say is think. God, for Brian and Chucky a year later. Even though some people want to say that movie sucks. It's far better than this piece of shit. Okay, so basically, like I said, the plot is them, is them cloning Ripley 200 years later, which I don't know how they have her blood, because they said at the end of the last movie that everyone thing was sold, but okay. <coughs> um, and then apparently they want to clone the alien for reasons <laughs> that are never explained. Um, and then once the alien gets Gets people really like xenomorphs. Sure, I mean, I mean, it's not like you can go to LV226 or whatever the planet was and probably find another alien. And as we learned from Brandorf, some of the people want to have sex with xenomorphs because Brandorf. Yeah. Said that. 
Bad drifts can happen permanently. But anyway, man, I'm going shit now. If you want. Thank you. Defending. Oh, yeah, when the alien gets released, the military do the most badass thing imaginable. Run the fuck away. Now, what were you saying about our military when I said that? The few, the inept, the marines. <laughs> the idiots. <laughs> Um, yeah. No offense to America. I'm True, no saying. offense, but the way they're portrayed in this movie, they're idiots. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah, and like I said, Dan Hedek can apparently had a small portion of his brain because one of the aliens comes behind him, from which jabs him in the back of the neck, and then rips out a piece of his brains. <laughs> so, yeah, Dan Hedek can act with a small portion of his brain. <laughs> Who knew? Yes. Um, hey, what is this thing? That is a brain. <laughs> what does it do? It makes you smart. Well, the oh, really? effective. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, there's a scene in this movie where Ripley tries to break out of her cell, and she's basically using the strength to open up a panel, jab herself with blood, and use that to short the, short the wires. It's called, how about using the same fucking strength to open the damn door? Apparently that's a brain. It doesn't float to the head. Uh, there's so many things I could rip this movie a new one with. But you want to go ahead and defend it more. Like I said, it's awesome. It's it's, it's every, awesomely stupid. Well, in a way, but it's, I'm just saying, it's everything the third movie was not. Good acting, good soundtrack, graphic violence. Okay, it okay. Was dark. Okay, the music I'll give you, and I'll even give you the effects, but everything else... <laughs> oh, and yeah, uh, don't... Don't give me the opportunity to hear Brad Dirk do his Chucky voice and then fucking run it with the words, You are a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. He was oh, doing don't it. blow me. He was doing it to sound psycho. He was pretty much talking about a human alien hybrid. It was creepy looking, cool looking. So I'm just saying, it's supposed to make his character more psycho. It's a good acting technique. What a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. But I want, when I hear Brad Dourif do Chucky, I don't want to hear him say stupid words. It's not stupid. It's awesome. It makes him sound psycho. You are a beautiful baby. Ugh. It's awesome. Shut up. This movie is not awesome. Yes, it is. I understand. Okay. This movie more than Alien 3. I am siding with the fucking majority. This movie has no logic. How do you have no logic and yet you have Spock's mother in it? <laughs> yes, Winona Ryder's in this movie. She played Spock's mother in 2009 in Star Trek. <laughs> Who knew? Well, of course this movie has no logic. She's a human in, in Star Trek. <laughs> so of course this movie has no logic. There's no Vulcans. Sarek was one who was Vulcan. Yes. Sarek is cool. I can't remember who played him, though. That's not... Uh, pretty much the only time you've ever seen him but in yeah, like, a couple um, episodes in the third movie. But but yeah, um, let's see. See, there's a reason why Sigourney Weaver wanted Ripley to die in the end of the last movie. It was to make it definitive. And, then, and also, because she didn't want to play this character much longer because she knew playing it more times would be kind of repetitive and milking a dead cow. Pretty much that. But of course, Hollywood! That... They churn out another movie written by the Avengers writer Josh Whedon, and I don't blame him because what I've heard is his script got butchered by the studio and the director. I'm sticking right back. Continue talking. I'll be right back. Uh, so what can I say about this movie? It's, it's stupid. Awesome. No, I can't say that. It's stupid. It's nonsensical. Um, apparently, this guy who is a brilliant marksman can't apparently can't hit an alien who's Probably seven feet in front of him. Maybe he was winning over its charms and just didn't want to hit it. Everyone else was. Everyone else wanted to have sex with that thing. Mm. Oh, and also, um, I'm pretty sure people have bitched about this before. Um, in the scene where Winona Ryder gets shot and falls down the pit with water, how the fuck is she able to get back to that door when the water pit thing was the only way to get to that one area. How the fuck did she get to that door? That I don't know. Do I, will, I will give him, I will give Sean Bally's I don't know. This movie's stupid. It's it all stupid. stupid. The whole thing is not stupid. 
try and defend it, smartass. Like I said, good story, good acting, good music, good effects. It's okay, a I'll, good story. Okay, I'll give you the music and effects. That's about it. It's a good Everything story. is nonsensical. Not everything. Okay, then. Explain to me, why was Ripley cloned? Because people like Ripley. Oh, and by the way, if okay, there's this theory that people want to say that Clemens, Charles Dance from the last movie, purely kept vials of her blood. I'm going to squash that right now. Firstly, if that was the case, firstly, they said at the end of the last movie that apparently all of the stuff in the penal colony was sold off for scrap. Secondly, apparently Wayland Utani was bought out by fucking Walmart. Walmart? Okay, it's not, I'm sure it's not as bad as Disney buying up every movie franchise. <laughs> uh, and thirdly... You just had to say that. I know, I did. Yes. Thirdly... Well, let me finish. Well, it makes let sense. Me finish. With the third movie, they did roll back on the prices. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me finish. Low budget out. joke. I'm sorry. Let me finish. Thirdly, if Clemens did uh, keep vials of her blood, and that's what was used, how the fuck does Ripley know that she fucking died? This movie is nonsensical. Speak. A clone knows it's... A clone does know it's history. Dude. Okay, imagine if I were to clone you. Okay? Yes. Imagine if I took vials of your blood, mm -hmm. killed you right now, and then I cloned you. Your clone would not know you died. How do you know? The only way it would know is if it saw your fucking corpse. If, how do you know it didn't? Oh, yeah, they say that things have changed in 200 years. Uh, yeah, um, so they learned to use acid-proof cells. Oh, wait, no, they don't. Um, they have a general who knows the importance of this. Oh, wait, no, they don't. So, yeah, nothing's changed. Dumb is still dumb. <laughs> Anything you want to shed lights on, sir? They still need to learn how to shut up and listen to Ripley. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Ripley's no. still... Oh, no, 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 no. They need to listen to Winona Ryder. Because, okay, I'll give that. I'm going to agree with Winona Ryder. She's not the real Ripley anymore. She has traces of the alien DNA, which is fucking wasted. <laughs> <coughs> you give... Okay, a great idea that gone wasted. Ripley being mixed with the... Ripley's DNA being mixed with the alien DNA. A great idea on paper, but in execution, wasted. This movie could have been better. Yeah, if Josh Whedon had full control. Yeah, but if he had full control, it wouldn't be graphic or dark or disturbing. Dude, I'm sure it would have been better. No. It would have been better than what we got. No. 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 Nine. Yet. Okay, I'm going to say this now. If you guys have negative comments, please transfer to him. Excuse me, I love this movie. It was awesome. Well, then you love shit. Well, of course I do. I hang out with you. Oh, ha, 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 ha. But yeah. Yes, this is the movie I'm going to choose to side with the critics and the fans and the whatnot. Him? I think he took Mjolnir up to the head too many times. If you don't know who that, what that is, that's Thor's hammer. I know what it is. I've been reading Nordic mythology since I was four. Well, yeah, he took Mjolnir up to the head too many times. Yeah, I don't think so. More like I've been taking Persephone's sexual beatings too much. Really? Yeah. Just, no. Hey, I would have sex with Persephone. She's hot. I mean, I know that's not Nordic mythology, but still, I'm just saying she's the sexiest goddess I can think of. Oh, are you talking about the real god, or are you talking about Rosalia Dawson? I was just talking about Persephone. You don't get the joke, do you, though? I know the joke. Shut up. I still don't get why we didn't get Titan's Curse. That still pisses me off. But anyway, that doesn't piss me off as much as this movie does. This movie's nonsensical. It's stupid. These characters make no sense. Some of them did. Spe speaking of make no sense, the reason why they clone Ripley makes no fucking sense, and how they even got her blood makes no fucking sense. 
And the fact that apparently Wayland Yutani was bought up by Walmart. Hey, they could How just... does Walmart buy out a a conglomerate company? You technically don't have to have blood. I mean, anything with her DNA, sweat, clothes she was wearing. Okay, dude, you... again. She fell into fire. Her clothes, her sweat, her hair, all went with her. Yes, so the, the only ashes thing could have... would still have the DNA in them. Can I finish, though? So the only thing they would have left to clone of her with is her blood, which everything was sold off in scrap, I'm assuming. Yes, but... So then how do you get her DNA? From her ashes? Oh, and also, also, if you have the DNA to clone her, why would you wait 200 fucking years? Why not just clone her then? This isn't rocket science. Convenience to wait 200 years. Sure, because it was fucking convenient. Hey, it's still a good movie. It's graphic. It's dark. Good story. Dude. You still get humor. And the humor's not to the oh, point where oh, it's oh. the movie. Oh, yeah. Humor. In the last fucking 20 minutes. And it was, hey, it was one of the funniest things you've heard in this series. In the last 20 minutes? Still? I'm we saw a movie earlier that was funny all the way through. Yeah, but that was a lighthearted movie. It was a lighthearted series. You just have, I'm just saying, you have to admit, it was like pretty much the funniest thing you've heard in this series. Pretty much the robot, my own writer, talking about her programming, and then Ripley is like, wait. You're the first rogue robot to be programmed to be an asshole? Yes, that was funny. Sadly, it was only the last 20 minutes. Well, it's not supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be dark. Then don't put jokes in. That's why they didn't have that much. I'm saying that's why they didn't have that much. They got away with having that many jokes in the movie we saw earlier because that was a lighthearted series. This isn't. That Pirates of the Caribbean is something that kids are going to watch, not a, ser a series where you pretty Dude, much... put it this way. If I had this movie on Blu-ray, if I had the original on Blu-ray, I would take a sledgehammer to it. You would give it to me. And or I that. Would, I would give it to and him and I would cherish it. Because it's a beautiful butterfly. Dude, beautiful. if Chucky was real, I'd have him stab you. If Chucky was real, he would side with me because I'm the evil one. I'm surprisingly going to agree with you. <laughs> I would send him after you. Yeah, and I would just kick him. Sure. Well, it's not like I'm, I'm like... Hi, ho! Friends to the end! Fuck you! <laughs> well, it's not like I'm... Oh, wait, I'm not going to make that joke. Why? I was going to say, like, at least I'm not like Brad Fred Durham's daughter on to find a wheelchair. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure Fiona's not really confined to a wheelchair in real life. No. But you get where I'm going, though, right? No. <laughs> But she was horrified by seeing her father do that. <laughs> you remember? How, how the hell did she get out of here? Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Daddy's just acting. Daddy's just I have to admit, that was funny. I was like, wow. Mm. How often can you yeah, say that and, happened in your acting career? Oh, and also the speaking of child. The human xenomorph hybrid was fucking ugly looking. It was cute. No, it was. And that thing was... Fucking ugly. Hey, hey, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Well, then that beauty was fucking bad. Well, I thought it was adorable. And according okay, to... Okay, how much did you drink? I just had pop, no beer. According oh, did you put... Okay, I'm sure... I'm sure there was booze in that... In that no. So no. Well, Brad Dorf likes it. He thought it was cute. According to him, it was a beautiful butterfly. Silence. Oh, my beautiful baby. Okay, you got any more defending? Because I'm probably about out of ranting. Oh, there's so much more. But yeah, but to finish what I was saying, of course there's not going to be that many jokes. It's not a lighthearted movie. Kids are going to watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Kids like pirates. You don't think kids are going to watch a movie where it's pretty much implied that Ripley had... Sex with a female xenomorph queen, impregnating her, and having a half-human, half-xenomorph hybrid child who then eats Brad Dorf's head and tries to have sex with its pretty much 
mother, well, second mother, grandmother, I don't know which one was. Either baby. one. So, yeah. It, yeah. First thing the baby does, pretty much decapitates a xenomorph mom. Just Not the mama. Her. Not the mama. Hey, yes. you don't get to make that joke. Hey, I saw that TV show before you did, so shut up. I was making it because of the Doug Walker's video. Well, uh, I actually know what that show comes from. It comes from... I Pine know Force. where it comes from, too. I watched that show when I was a kid. I saw it I didn't care for did. it that much, though, but... It's an awesome show. Screw you. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I didn't care for it. Well, boo -hoo. There's a difference. So, yeah. I was more into The Mask and Rock and... Rock and... Rock and Modern Life. The actual good Legends of the Hidden Temple. Not that piece of shit movie. Oh, yeah, I was seeing that. Not that piece of shit movie. But yeah, first thing he does, he slaps off the xenomorph's head. Then it tries to face rape its other mama. Kills Brad Dorf. Then goes back to trying to humpity dumpity his mom again. It, this movie is... Did stuff to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it did stuff to me, like... I'm that, that pregnant xenomorph queen. Was sit, sit, I'm, and you're saying it. <laughs> yes, I'm saying it. Have you been taking your pills? Yes, I have. Are you sure? Yes. I don't think you have. Yes, I have. You don't know my pills. They must be cuckoo pills. I do take pills. <laughs> That's probably fucking you up then. <laughs> but yeah, you got any more to say? No. Pretty much I said it all. Good movie, good acting, good effects, good music, good story. Oh, boy. This is a good movie. It's better than three. Yes. Oh, no, sir. Yes. Oh, no, three sir. Three can suck it. This movie can suck it. No, three can this, suck okay. it. Okay, here's my rating for this movie. That. Well, that's I'd my, rather watch three than this. Well, that's my well, that's pretty much my answer to three. Three is so terrible it can deep throat this movie. Dude, like I said, if I had the series on Blu-ray, like if I had that box set, I would take the resurrection disc out of the set, grab a sledgehammer, and do this. <clears throat> no, you would give it to me, and I would cherish it and give it the love it deserves, like how that baby. Hybrid or, or, or no, or here's what I'll do. I would get a plate launcher, or whatever you want to call it. I'd be like, pull! Boom! You mean skeet shoot it? Sure, whatever you want to call it. But this, this movie may be tear up, because you could tell that Ripley did not want to kill it. She was actually crying when it was... Wow, like, one scene. Out of a two, near two-hour movie. It's a good scene. She did not want it. She was saddened. Well, yeah, it was like the third child that she's... Lost, so of course. Besides, if I was a parent, I wouldn't care if my if I had a child to end up looking like that. I would care for it and love it, because it would be my child. It would deserve its love. It deserves life. I wouldn't care if I had a child that was deformed, like in this movie, or a racer head. It would be my child. It would be a blessing, and I would love it and take care of it. Mm. Unless it looked like you, then. To the orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, this movie's garbage. No. I side with everyone who hates this movie. I would rather watch three than this. <sighs> His opinion doesn't matter. Sure. So what's your rating? For this movie? Yes. Number rating. Number rating, not then zero. Really? Yes! This movie is a 7.5 for me. This movie is a zero. Right. Would you manage to watch Suicide Squad? Actually, yes. Surprisingly. We deserve to burn in hell, you maggot. Dude, I've, served, I've deserved that for years. What are you talking about? After all the shit I've done in my life, I deserve that. Well, then you and me both. See, he's gonna he's gonna be with me for all Dude, eternity. Technically, I've already died once in my life. Technically, I have too. I technically died at birth. Doctors gave me at least a month to live. I died. Surprisingly, I did. I died like two hours after graduating from high school and came back to life like eight hours later. Suicide. I did not know this. 
I told you it was like after my girlfriend. I didn't know it was after graduation, though. But yeah, movie shit. No. Yes, movie shit. And I actually think this is actually the first video we've actually had a debate on. <laughs> wow. Wow. We have come so far in. How long has it been? Three months? Probably. probably longer than now. It's probably like before December, so. Probably at least three months. or four months. Five and a half months, I think. Okay, at least four months, roughly there. <laughs> but yeah. <coughs> but yeah, um. This movie's shit. Let's just acknowledge that. No, it's not. Let's acknowledge this guy's a weirdo. They already knew that from day one. I knew. I didn't have to hammer that in. Sure. Yes. But yeah, movie bad. Avoid like the plague. No. Yes. No. Also, also according to him, avoid AV, AVP like the plague. I like that movie. Oh, okay, then avoid, avoid Requiem like the plague. I still enjoyed it to some degree. Avoid Prometheus then. I actually haven't seen those. I couldn't tell you. Hey, if there's anything you should avoid like the plague, it's the movie Beyond the Call of Duty. If you hated this, you would hate that movie even worse. Look who's talking, Mr. I Love Re Resurrection. Who cares? I, don't, I don't know you anymore. Who cares if I love this movie? It's good. It's dark. It's graphic. It's a good sequel. It's better than three. Dude, this movie was only made to shut fans up who didn't like the fact that Ripley killed herself. That's the only reason this movie was made. Because, dude, no, here's the thing. Even one of the producers didn't like any of this movie being made. One of the producers! Well, that producer can deep throw himself in hell. I'm sure he'd say the same to you. Well, I say the same thing back to him and his pasty white ass. Oy. But yeah, movie bad. Let's just acknowledge that as such. Let's acknowledge this. The guy's a weirdo. You're a weirdo. We're all weirdos. But yeah. Yes, isn't it a great planet we live in when everyone can be a weirdo and not be judged? I know. But Hypocrite. 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 Shame. Oh, break the finger. You couldn't even. Really? You couldn't. You want to try me? <laughs> Hurts, don't it? That's a whole hand versus one finger. <laughs> okay, then here, one finger. No, you're gonna get it. Let me just do it with one finger, okay? <laughs> Ow! There, one finger. One finger. Okay, stop it. You, you know they call the cops for you proved it. abuse. You proved it already. Ow, well. Yes, ow. <laughs> But yeah, before you see us go ner weirdos again even more, we're going to end this video. So yeah, Resurrection sucks. No, it doesn't. Avoid it like the plague. Avoid him like the plague. Avoid him too like the plague. You will avoid this movie like the plague. You will not see Resurrection. Yes, you will. You will, stop, movie. you will stop the series in Alien 3. Or Aliens if you wish. But you will not see Resurrection. It's a good movie. This is not the movie you were looking for. Yes, it was. It was better. <laughs> it's better than three. We will continue our Terminator review sometime. Well, in the morning, we finally, we finally got this series over with because, oh, you don't want to watch review Alien vs. Predator or Prometheus. You don't want to do the whole franchise for once. Wow. Technically, dude, Prometheus, AVP, aren't technically part of this franchise. Technically. They're technically prequels. Who if cares? About it. They're still set in the same universe. Oh. Well, then technically Predator is set in the same universe, then, smartass. Uh, it was established that. They even said when the original was made, an alien knockoff, alien <laughs> spinoff, so pretty much the same thing. Whatever. But yeah, we're going to end this review. See you guys.